Stepping out from Robin Hood's bay Leaving footprints in the clay Nine no miles to St. Bees With nothing but the wind and sea Yorkshire moors are calling my name Green and gold like a rambling flame Every hill's a story to tell With every step a wishing well From coast to coast I wander free With an open heart and blistered feet A long walk home for you and me From Robin Hood's Bay to St. B. Go up and go down to the deep cave. Yeah. Welcome to Robin Hood's Bay. And the start, and not the end, as the you'll have just seen me touching the sign outside Wainwright's Bar. The end of the coast to coast. It is absolutely glorious here. And I cannot wait to get started. It's been a heck of a journey down. Um, disaster with cancelled trains yesterday and, and whatnot, and I uh, ended up having to spend the night in Edinburgh to catch an early train down but it's around about lunchtime. Uh, the bus was standing room only uh, from Middlesbrough and Whitney and um, yeah, it's great to be here at the start. Uh, I'm not going to hope too much on the weather. I know the forecast for the rest of this week is supposed to be good. Uh, that might change into next week. But I'm going to uh, get down to the water's edge, dip the boots, get a couple of stones to carry back. Um, my uh, erstwhile working partner is returning from Slovenia. And uh, although he's not going to start this, he's, he's going to join me up near Grosmont tomorrow evening. So he's only really missing uh, the first stage. Let's have a look back. It's a stunning place, as Robin Hood's be. Uh, but yeah, I'll pick up a couple of small stones, uh, help redress the balance a little bit of all the, <laughs> all the stones carried here from St. Bees. And we'll see what the next two and a half, three weeks brings. Um, I think I'm about 19 days, something like that. Uh, possibly 20, 
doing it very slowly, no big days. I think the most I'm doing is about 16. Um, so plenty of time to bimble, enjoy the scenery and get a few pints on the way as well. Right. Dip the boots. We've got one pebble. And it's utterly glorious this morning. This is such a beautiful little place. Almost like a Cornish fishing village, this. But uh, we're following the Cleveland Way for a few miles before heading in inland, and I think. It's only going to be two or three hours maximum, about five miles. But we're off. Next stop, St. Bees. Must be less than half a mile from Robin Hood's Bay and it's all the crowds have just dissipated. Yeah. Hiya. Thanks. Oh thank you very much. Cheers. You're Thanks. <laughs> So I think there's been a wee diversion there uh, onto the onto the old railway track, but the the crowds were pretty heavy in uh, Robin Hood's Bay, and judging by the number of people in the bus this morning, the the thing was full. There must have been nearly a hundred folk on it. Um, yeah, busy, busy place. But uh, I've only got about four or five miles to do, so I'm just going to bimble, enjoy the sun and the sea views. And uh, what a great start to the coast to coast. And suddenly all the crowds have gone. It's fantastic. Uh, well, follow the Cleveland Way for a couple of miles out. Um, so, let's see. Uh, 18 days, I think I'm doing this over. Um, I finish around 4th or 5th of October. Uh, I'm not really too fussed about dates. <laughs> As long as I get to the right place at the right time and the places that I've booked, it should be fine. But um, yeah, it's it's been a long old haul since I finished the Pennine Way. Boy, oh boy! Uh, and uh, I, I'm definitely glad to be getting away and back out on the trail proper this time. So we'll we'll see what this route has in store for us. I'm really looking forward to it. Even if the weather's not so great. Um, as I've said in the other videos, the, the summer we've been having here in the UK has just been dreadful. 
Uh, this has been about the best spell of weather we've had, but the, the temperature's up and down like a yo-yo. Um, probably be down near freezing tonight, I would expect, if, the, if it stays clear. Uh, we're in early to mid-September. Uh, so, uh, forecast is good initially, I'm not sure what the future holds. I'm expecting it to be, as soon as we get to the lakes, a, a gale force wind and torrential rain in my face, just as the lakes usually do to some extent. Robin Hood's Bay is a real jumble of buildings and a typical little cove town. Um, but the place has long been associated with Robin Hood, apparently. Uh, the, the legends say that it was somewhere that he used to escape to. Uh, when things were getting a bit hot, I think with the, either Sheriff or Nottingham or Prince John. Or, um, <laughs> apparently put out to sea, uh, according to some sources. But it's more associated with with smuggling and the like, and it's a sort of very Enid Blyton-esque place. I kind of feel like I'm going against the flow here, it's just been a steady procession coming the other way. Well, one mile to go to Hosker, and I've come to the end of the coastal path. Well, for the east end anyway. I'll take a look back. I've definitely been going against the flow. There's been a a steady stream of people heading towards Robin Hood's Bay. Um, quite why they put the finger post there and not up here is beyond me. They've been useful right on that junction but anyway about a mile to the campsite yeah. That's, that might well be the thumbnail for this video it's been quite the stiff climb up from the uh, coastal path just up through a holiday park there but I'm pretty unfit at the moment uh, not been particularly well, had a bit of a chest infection and been a bit wheezy so I'm hoping this will burn it off to a certain extent but out into open country already and, uh, Yeah, it's, it has been a steady flow of people heading towards Rob Robin Hood's Bay and I feel like I've been going the wrong way for a lot of it and uh, a good proportion of those folk have been coast to coast walkers. This is a cinder track and uh, if the weather's bad, blowing a hooli in off the, uh, off the North Sea. It's probably a good option actually to get down at Robin Hood's Bay. Uh, it's a bit more direct. It's the old railway, uh, I guess hence the name, the cinder track. Uh, but uh, 
I think it cuts about two miles off the coastal route, but why would you want to miss that? That was spectacular. Did the Cleveland Way a few years ago, and um, although I'm not the greatest fan of coastal walking, it, it can get a bit monotonous. The, the section there between Whitby and Scarborough was just phenomenal. Uh, but then we had weather like this for it, which helped. It's maybe a bit far to pick out on this, but there's Whitby Abbey, almost dead centre. Whitby just sitting down in the, in the gap in the cliffs there. So not, not far at all. I was supposed to stay there last night. Uh, but of course, because the, the train was cancelled, I couldn't make any connections and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> 20 to 6 this morning, getting the, uh, uh, oh god, what was it called, the uh, Flying Scotsman, that was it, uh, Flying Scotsman service, which only stopped at Newcastle. Pretty high holster. And the uh, campsite's just through it on the other side. In the village. Well, this is home for the night. And I guess this is the entrance. Hopefully that'll have a picture for me. From coast to coast. I wander free With an open heart and blistered feet A long walk home for you and me From Robin Hood's Bay to St. Bede